test, test and test. A problem which is going to increase exponentially. Isolate, isolate, isolate. This is a very uh, stubborn virus. It basically hijacks the metabolism. Track, test and treat. COVID-19, an infectious disease caused by the most recently discovered novel coronavirus. It was unknown to mankind before the outbreak began in Wuhan, China in December 2019. In a very short span of time, it spread like a wildfire across the globe. COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. The first case of COVID-19 in India was reported on 30th January 2020. By the end of March, there was an exponential increase in positive cases across the country. This has caused distress to more than 1.3 billion people, resulting in the world's biggest lockdown in the history of mankind. This virus is basically an entity which has no independent metabolism of its own. It basically hijacks the metabolism of its host and makes it, uh, you know, work for itself. Humans are the carriers for coronavirus. On top of that, it is mutating very rapidly. Due to this, it becomes more challenging to formulate any credible vaccine. Positive cases are rising at an alarming rate and the state of Maharashtra continues to be the hotspot for the same. It puts severe pressure on medical facilities and testing laboratories. Analyzing all these scenarios, CSIR NIRI put a very responsible initiative to start a COVID-19 testing center. A testing laboratory plays a significant role in identifying positive cases. It helps in early treatment, which is the key to save lives and most importantly, to contain the spread of COVID-19. We realize that it's going to becoming a problem which is going to increase exponentially. And that's when uh, CSIR as well as our institute took first steps uh, towards helping out the community. I give all the credit to my team uh, within CSIR uh, who wanted to do it. And also all those supporting staff who came by and set it up in a way that it was very safe as per the guidelines of ICMR and all the regulatory agencies which are required to be done. We started on 9th April and by 19th April, in a matter of 10 days, we were able to retrofit the lab to be functional as a COVID-19 testing center. And this has happened with the support of everybody. The EVC team is doing a great job and we have to report uh, the samples whenever, as soon as they come. So we are working day in and day out. This is a very uh, stubborn virus and it is infecting very easily. The focus is to contain the spread of coronavirus and to resume socio-economic activities. To fulfill this objective, government authorities are implementing various measures and they are also ramping up the number of testing facilities. It has been a challenging time. What ICMR said in the beginning, that uh, isolate, isolate, isolate. So our strategy was isolating, uh, contact tracing, testing, the suspect cases, then identifying the positive cases, then uh, identifying their contacts and isolating and treating the positive case uh, in the hospital. We worked on uh, ramping our testing facility. And when it comes to saving lives, we have, we have further ramped up our testing by rapid antigen testing. But I must say that uh, people in the health department, people in the municipal corporation, people at the district administration, the Zilla pressure, and in all the districts. We have worked as team. On 11th of March, we first encountered the case, positive case, from international internet. We started whatever the guidelines given by government of India and state governments to implement in regarding home quarantine or the treatment part of it. One of the uh, major thrust areas during this uh, pandemic has been uh, T3 strategy, what do you say? And this is T is basically track, test and treat. It helps in breaking the chain of transmission from a high-risk person 
to a neighborhood or a market or anywhere wherever he or she goes. In the initial stages, the police department played a very significant role in implementing the strategies devised to contain the spread of coronavirus. शुरू में हमने कर्फ्यू को इम्प्लीमेंट किया लॉकडाउन को इम्प्लीमेंट किया लोगों के अंदर हमने जागृति पैदा की इसके अलावा हॉस्पिटल का गार्डिंग है क्वारंटाइन का गार्डिंग है जहाँ से लोगों को क्वारंटाइन के लिए जाना था वहाँ पे पुलिस की मदद इन सारी चीज़ों में हमारे पुलिस ने काफ़ी काम किया तो पुलिस डिपार्टमेंट ने एक बहुत ही बड़े कमिटमेंट के साथ डिवोशन के साथ इस पर काम किया है लॉकडाउन वॉज जस्ट अ टेम्प्ररी सोल्यूशन बट सोशो इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज कैन नॉट बी पुट ऑन होल्ड फॉर एवर to resume activities and migration in a safe manner the covid-19 guidelines were issued uh, we could see people accepting the uh, covid protocols we actually uh, completed a survey of all those 950 industries over here they have also taken one great precaution that whenever the laborers they are now returning back the laborers are kept for quarantine for 14 days and only after 14 days they get them tested and only after that they are inducted into their uh, work places it is not that we should stop our work but uh, if we just follow the simple sms rule that keeps us really very much safe s is social distancing m is wearing mask and s is sanitization who says that we must test test and test there are different type of testing which can be done like the molecular testing which our lab is doing which is rt pcr which is a gold standard method as recommended by who this test basically starts with the simple collection of a nasopharyngeal and a oropharyngeal swab sample is first collected from a collection point then it is transported to a particular testing center through the viral transport medium there it is received checked labeled and tagged with a testing lab id vortexing of samples is done before processing for the rna extraction process the rna is extracted after that it is taken to the next procedure reverse transcriptase pcr is a procedure where uh, if the rna is the genome of a particular uh, life form the rna is converted to dna after the dna copies are created then the dna copies are amplified in the form of pcr and in real time pcr it is basically seen as amplification corresponding to its fluorescence all the results are also uploaded on icmr and government portals for further course of action to contain the spread of coronavirus to ensure the best practices whenever the sample is received at csr nidi covid-19 testing center it's immediately taken forward for processing and rna extraction and real time pcr why we do this we do this only to ensure that the factor of perishability and degradation are minimized csr niri was recognized as the first hub by icmr dbt to serve the region as a hub csir niri helps in the operationalization of new testing centers setting up validation processes training and capacity building of new and existing centers we also try to ensure that the safety is at the paramount so we are doing very good quality assurance quality control and also we are following good lab practices and we are routinely testing our staff for the covid-19 as of today none of the staff working in covid-19 testing center at csr neri had tested positive the credit goes to to the good lab practices in the lab i'd like to thank the director general of csr who had been the key person at national level for ramping up this testing i am also thankful to the director niri who had been the main inspiration and also the motivational force behind uh, and for starting this testing center i am really thankful to the to all the team of students at my lab from the bottom of my heart it is a high time that those who bear the knowledge 
need to come forward to join the forces against this pandemic fighting back covid has to be now a people's movement and all have to play their own roles fully self driven themselves for their own safety and the safety of their loved ones